Hi, I'm Mona, and I moved from LA to Japan when I was 18 years old. And it changed my life. Let me explain. Growing up in LA, I spent my childhood chipping into the prototypical American. I went to basketball games, pulled all nighter studying, and carpool karaoke with friends. I'm grateful to have had these experiences, but I could imagine what life would be like for the next 10 years. Go to college, intern, and then find a job. I knew there was more for me to experience in life than just follow a traditional path. I was hungry for adventure. This is something that I wrote when I was 17. Knowing what is to come is comforting. But is a predictable life the life I want? Not knowing is scary, but oddly exciting. I'm scared, but my heart tells me to go for it. So I went for it. I hopped on a plane and moved to Japan by myself. 5,681 miles away from my family, my friends, and everything that I was comfortable with. You're probably wondering, okay, so how did this change your life? Well, here are the three main things that I learned from this experience. Like how people have their personal bubble. People have their personal boundaries that determine the limits as to what they're comfortable with doing and what crosses the line. But as you continuously do things that are slightly out of your comfort zone, like at the point where you're on your tippy toes, you might be able to reach something, that type of goal. That's exactly when you're pushing your boundaries. As you become more and more comfortable with what was once uncomfortable for you, you look back one day and you realize that those small goals have led you to growth. I was learning something new every day. Challenges that were slightly out of my comfort zone, but close enough that I could do it on my own. Oh, we just finished our first Japanese university level class. As I did that every day, I found myself becoming more and more confident. To give you context, when I first moved to Japan, I had no idea how to buy a train ticket, and for the life of me, could not understand how to use public transportation. But look at me now. I am living proof that you learn as you go, because I love trains now. You go on it, and it takes you wherever you want to go to, which is so obvious, but was something my LA brain had a hard time wrapping my head around. I'm a chronic planner. I love knowing what is to come, and I love a good agenda. But I wanted to learn how to live in the moment, to be in the now. Was I able to do that? If I'm being honest with you, this is something that I'm still working on. But man, it sure does feel good to enjoy the present for what it is. The more I allocated time to do what I liked, the more motivated I felt to engage in my studies and on work. It was this simple and beautiful cycle that I somehow didn't crack the code to until I got a completely fresh start in a new country. Of course, there's ups and downs. I cried, I laughed, I was sad, but then I was happy. As I felt more confident in my own decision to leap into the unknown, I learned that at the end of the day, you feel emotions for a reason and you should acknowledge your feelings in that moment. We are the dreamers of dreams. I have a confession. I really don't like being told what to do. I get why rules and guidelines exist, but when it comes to living my life, I want to pave a path of my own. I guess it all boils down to the fact that I wanted to see what I was capable of achieving. And nothing screams, I am my own independent being, like living in a foreign country by yourself. Regardless of what stage you are in life, living in a new place by yourself is scary. But at the same time, it serves as a beautiful way to promote self-growth. I simply did things that genuinely sparked my interest in that moment. As I took actions based on what felt right, I found myself feeling extremely grateful for everyone and everything in my life. I discovered local restaurants, satisfied my need for wanderlust one transportation device at a time, and most importantly, surrounded myself with people that made me feel most like myself. Now I'm sitting in my room, four years later, as a senior in college. I'm getting all reflective and sentimental as one does when a chapter of their lives comes to an end, but I can't help but feel proud of 17-year-old Mona for taking that first step. The first step is always the hardest. The first step always takes the most courage. The first step is when you have to be the most brave. It opened doors to so many opportunities in life that I will forever cherish. If you're in a stage in life where you're confused and hitting a wall, Take this as a sign to listen to your heart and go for it. Because I did, it was probably the best decision that I made in my life. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys want more content like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Bye.